I can hear an animal. I don't know if it's a if it's a stag's being chased. I don't know. This is very scary. I've never been up here when I've had to witness any of this. There's a car there, and there's a. I just heard this awful noise. It could have been just a stag calling out. It stopped now, it was horrible. But it might have been a normal noise for a stag. It is the rutting season after all. I heard what th I thought was gunfire as well earlier. That's what's left of the... Yeah, I'm getting quite disturbed coming up here now, you know. Because I never used to uh, hear what goes on. But it's probably normal, isn't it? Stop that noise. I did see a police car earlier. It stopped, just making this awful bellowing sound. After last week, I'm... It's making me quite upset, hearing all this sort of stuff. Maybe it's normal, and it's just that I haven't been up here when it's happened. I mean, I went on... I went out with the Dartmoor Hounds years ago, when I was about 16. And I was... we were after foxes. I was glad we never caught one. I was so glad. I was on a horse for eight hours that day. I went for the riding to develop my riding skills with the Dartmoor hounds, but I didn't I didn't pursue that. I didn't like it. Even then I never liked it. I thought it was wrong. Although I can understand it in a way. See look, there's a bloke there, look. What's he looking at? I think I had that on Zoom, everyone, then. I think I had that on Zoom. Somewhere over there, there's, there's something going on. I can hear the hounds. They're on, they're on, they're, they've got, a, they've caught an animal. Right, turn off for a minute. Right, I'm carrying on my walk along Lady's Edge. I met the the lady called Jill today. I think she's doing her usual walk up along there. <coughs> she's probably all right over there by now, having her picnic, probably already. Now, back there is a, it's gone out of view now, but there's an old type Land Rover thing, a Range Rover. And I talked to the uh, farmer, and a real old farmer, and he, I asked him if there was a hunt on, and he, he said there was. But he said they pre they do sort of protect the, the deer, whereas he said it's the poachers that are causing the problems up there. And I said, yeah, and trophy hunters. <coughs> so I got a chat with him. He's a normal like farmer, you know. He knew where the hunt was. They've all got their radio. They got their thing on, like a big, a huge mobile thing. And he said, "Oh, it's over, over that way." He said, "But it could come over here." And I said to him, "I heard like a really loud noise, like from a stag." And I can still hear noises every now and again. And uh, basically, there, there is some hounds out. 
There is, I seen um, horse boxes. I seen police. And I just think to myself, there is a hunt going on. He said it could come this way yet. I thought, oh, I don't really want to see it, you know. I don't really like any of it, really. I've not experienced it on here before. I've never experienced a hunt when it's been up. I don't even know they come here on a, in the week. I expect the lady called Jill, lady in her 70s who loves this place, has heard that noise as well. If, she, if, if she's still there when I get back to my van later, or I'll see her another time, I'll ask her, did she hear the roar coming from a deer? It was, um, it was very loud. It echoed all up through the comb. I got, I don't know if I captured it on the video, it might have only been the last bit of it. Because, um, I, I wasn't prepared for it, I wasn't expecting it. But there are people out, there's a couple of Land Rovers, they're watching it from up here. Because, um, the stag could run for miles, you see. There were people everywhere dotted about. I didn't think it was allowed. I didn't think it was allowed. There will be people up here. I, there are the people that are against it completely. From the farmers as well. Because they, they, they're, they're depleting anyhow. You know, the population of the deers. And they, are, they, they, they could wipe them out. That's part of corn talks. When we think of the corn talks, I always think of the deer. And the sheep. And the heather. And the gorse. And the gnarled trees. And the streams. Beautiful coombs. Down there in the mist. I walked, um. I came out of uh, the coom. Just over, just about a week ago, and I walked, I followed a track around the side, which is where Jill normally goes. And uh, I rather call her Jill, and sort of think, say, um, a seventy-seven-year-old lady. I don't really like saying that, so I'm going to go. I mean, I could call her something else, but I'll call her Jill. And she. Uh, She loves this place. She, I mean, she might agree with hunting. I don't really know, really. She went a bit quiet when I mentioned anything, so... I don't know if she agrees with it or not. If you're a real rural person, I think it's part of the culture, to be quite honest. And, um... I never liked it as 16, though, and I used to go out all the time. Oh, there's bloody horse coming. I used to go out all the time horse riding. I used to spend all my weekends cleaning the stables, going out on the Sunday ride, went out on a hunt, um, preparing the horses for hunts, dressing them up, um, and all that sort of thing. I did... I did get an insight into the culture. A big one when I was young. I've always liked farming and all that. I love everything like that. But there's something cruel I don't like. I don't like this hunting stuff. It's not like we're living in the Stone Age and we've got to go out and find something to eat. I'm going to turn off for a minute. Someone coming. 